So first things first, I do have my beef bologna here from Oscar Mayer. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take out a slice. Y'all know the drill. We eat out the eyes and the mouth. And then we are gonna go ahead and just put that on our Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a good one for you guys. I am gonna be trying out the new face mask by Oscar Mayer. So I know you guys saw my intro and probably was like, girl, what you got going on to be putting meat on your face? But let me just say, we are not putting any meat on our skin or our faces. I just did that to get y'all blood boiling a little bit, but I am going to be doing a face mask by Oscar Mayer. And y'all, let me tell y'all, this was so confusing for me when I saw the post. So I was scrolling on Instagram. If y'all are not following me on Instagram, by the way, definitely head over there and follow me at sashie.tv. But anyways, I'm on Instagram liking and commenting and doing what I do on Instagram. And I saw the post and I was like, oh my God. The world's about to end because I know people ain't out here putting baloney on their faces. But no, Oscar Mayer actually came out with their own face mask. So it is right here, nicely packaged. And it's crazy because it looks just like a baloney. So this ought to be very interesting. I don't know like how it's gonna feel. This is my first time using it. As I said, they just came out with this, but I'm super duper excited to try. And you know the crazy thing about this whole face mask situation is I was reading the comments on that post and so many people was like, nope, it's a no for me. I'm not gonna try it, I'm not gonna try it. But yet it was sold out on Amazon, you guys. Like legit, under 24 hours, this thing was sold out and I was like man I really want to try it I have to get my hands on it so I kept going back every day for maybe about three to five days checking and finally it came back in stock but they were like you're gonna get this in March baby girl and I was like dang but I still went ahead placed the order and I was so surprised when it came in two days so I was very very happy about that so as I said I'm not really sure what this mask is all about it is a hydro jelly mask so I can infer that maybe it's about moisturizing your skin I also see a little note up here that says skin guard pore care department of facial hydration so I'm hoping that this mask will help your girl out with her pores because I do have very large pores especially in this area so let me just give y'all a close-up of how this mask looks right so it says hashtag keeping it Oscar at the top it says quality mask so they are saying this is a quality mask even though they're new to this and they are prominent and dominant in the meat industry they said in skincare they are prominent and dominant as well so they say this is a quality mask that moisturizes it is a single use and it has soothing effects so that's pretty good because right now my skin's a little bit inflamed but <laughs> something always going on with this skin so it says that this is a face mask beauty inspired by baloney which is it sounds baloney even saying it but it is what it is and then it has a little script that says a hydrating and restoring hydrogel mask suitable for all skin types but especially for those who used to make masks out of their bologna sandwiches so I know as kids I used to do the whole eyes and mouth kind of like I showed you guys in the intro and I used to sing the song all the time my bologna has a first thing yo y'all know the drill so yeah I'm definitely excited to use this. So on the back, actually, it has some details. It says it is sulfate free, paraben free, and cruelty free, so that's a plus. And it says in big bold letters, do not eat bologna mass. That's what bologna slices are for. So yeah, that is that, you guys. It also has some directions down here on how I am supposed to use it. So it says for me to cleanse my face, which I did, I used my CeraVe cleanser and then it says to apply the mask relax for 10 to 20 minutes and then remove the mask and then I guess after that I'll just follow up with my skincare so um let me go ahead and open this up so that I can you know give you guys oh it's very wet <laughs> I'll tell you that much so let me just open it up y'all my stomach low-key turned just a while ago y'all it looks like meat honey I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like meat and my stomach really did just 
turn. Ugh. And it's very slimy, which is good because it's a hydro jelly mask. It does feel very jelly-like. When you take it out, this is how it looks. Like it legit looks like deli meat, which is so funny to me. Oh my God, it looks like jelly meat. It smells like it has like a, like a very clean smell to it. It doesn't smell very fruity or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, y'all, and put this on my skin. As I said, my skin is already cleaned. I don't want this to fall. It's so much moisture, you guys. Can you see that? So much moisture. So it has like a guide. As you guys can see, it's split in half. So you have like the eye part, the part for the nose, and the part for the forehead. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my skin. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Hold on. Y'all, I can't. I don't think I did that right. Hold on, let me try to put it up a little bit more. Woo! First of all, this feels really nice. <laughs> it actually feels amazing, let me say that. Um, it's a very soft, wow. Y'all, this feels nice. I can't even front. This feels so nice. And then I'm gonna put on the bottom part of the mask. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't slip, don't slip. Honey, we are having technical difficulties over here, hon. All right, so this is the bottom part of the mask. Okay, let's remove that. All right, okay. And then this is a little mouth part. Mm, it's dripping, y'all. Y'all see that? The, I told y'all the mask is super wet. So it's like dripping down a little bit. So we're gonna put this part over my lips. Y'all, this feels so nice and cooling. Ooh, I definitely understand the soothing effect of it all. It feels so nice and just cooling. Y'all, this feels great. It feels like I had this in the fridge for like a couple days or something because it feels so nice and cool but not to the point where you know it's too cold it just feels very soothing it's actually slipping down that's the only thing that's like not really ideal about this so the bottom part is slipping down a little bit but i am going to get my jade roller and really just work the mask in y'all work it in so that i can get the full experience i hope i don't have to keep like pulling up the mask because it feels like it is slipping off my face. But other than that, y'all, thumbs up so far. Definitely a big thumbs up so far. <laughs> y'all can't tell me that doesn't look like lunch meat. <laughs> All right, so I have my jade roller with me, hon. So we gonna, y'all, that feels so nice. Wow, that feels so nice. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the mask was pretty inexpensive. It was only $4.99. I think this is such a great tactic from Oscar Mayer. It's such a phenomenal business move. You know people is gonna eat this up and like get it, you know? Like when I saw it, I felt like I had to get it. Like it reminded me so much of my childhood and the commercials that I used to see all the time with this. Like I knew people was gonna eat this up and just get it, you know? Hence why it was sold out on Amazon in under 24 hours. So I don't really know if Oscar Mayer plans to dive fully into skincare. I have no idea, but um, I feel like they're doing okay with this mask. Like it feels really, really nice. And you guys know I use a mask quite a bit. Like I use masks at least once to two times per week. So I do know a good mask when I feel it. As I said, I'm not really sure of the long-term benefits that this mask will have, but I do feel as though um, it is providing hydration to my skin currently. So I'm just gonna continue to roll it in. Roll it in. Use the smaller side for my under eyes. Make sure I get all that nutrients in the skin. What does this give y'all? When y'all see me with this, does it look like I have lunch meat on my face? 
Because <laughs> it, it honestly feels like I do. I think I would have preferred for the mask to just be like one full mask instead of it being split in half because as you guys can see, it's like separating here because it, the gravity is just working. So it keeps sliding down. So I think I would have definitely preferred for it to be like a whole, just one mask instead of it being split in two. So I'm gonna let it sit for maybe about five more minutes and then I'll come back to you guys and show you guys the reveal once I peel the mask off. All right guys, so it's been about 20 minutes and I am about to take off the face mask. As you guys can see, it started to slip down a little bit and my lip caught it so it can't slip down anymore. But I just decided to keep it as is because I actually tore a little piece on this side and I was like, you know what, I don't wanna tear the mask so I just let it stay like this. So I'm gonna remove it. As y'all remember, when I first applied the mask, my skin was very dry. Wow, y'all see that shine though. So it is very hydrating. Y'all, I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at this mask at all. Let me tell you, whoever came up with this whole face mask baloney concept, tell them Sachi E said you need a raise. Like this was such a dope idea. It was such a fun thing to try. Like I really enjoyed it. And it actually did a little something something. Like when I came on here, my face was so dry and you guys can see that my face looked very hydrated. It actually looks like it's glowing. Like y'all see that? Y'all see that glow right there? It actually looks like I have a natural highlight. So I do like this. It looks like lunch of meat, which looks a little disgusting, but it, Thumbs up, I definitely highly would recommend. If you're just trying to do something fun, try something new and get a little hydration in the process, I definitely think this is a go. It was only $4.99 on Amazon, so it's not something that's gonna break the bank. It is only a one-time use, so this will be going in the trash. But yeah, guys, I think this is a genius idea. I think this is a dope idea. I'm actually interested now to see what the purpose of this was. Like, are they trying to come out with skincare and trying to see like how their skincare would do? Like, is a moisturizer up next? Is a sunscreen up next? Like, what are you guys really about? Like, what was the concept behind this? Y'all email me and let me know, okay? Because I wanna know. But yeah, I think this is an absolute genius idea. As I said, my skin looks nice and glowing. It gave me a nice dewy look and my face is quite hydrated. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions about the mask that I use here today, definitely leave those down below in my comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell. Definitely join the family so you do not miss an upload from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!